fifth one if the two sides of a triangle if two sides of a triangle are 20 and 10 units if two sides of a triangle are 20 and 10 units area is 80 units square area is 80 units square find the third side if the two sides of a triangle are 20 and 10 units area is 80 units square find the third side fifth question variety of questions covering all multiple exams two sides of a triangle are 20 and 10 two sides anything that you can take let me take the side as a 20 here it is a 10 here i don't know even if you tilt it area will not change so area is nothing but half into by base into height so area is half into 20 into height so height is nothing but 8 if this is 8 if this is 8 this is height it is 8 if this is 8 this will become 6 already just now we discussed one side is an even number side not equivalent to hypotenuse 6 square by 4 36 by 4 9 9 minus 1 9 plus 1 6 8 10 is a Pythagorean triplet if this is 6 this entire value will be 4. So, this is nothing but root of 14 square plus 8 square. Root of 14 square plus 8 square. Root of 14 square is 196. 8 square is 64. Answer is root of 260. Answer is 360. I hope it is clear. Please take it. In the triangle ABC, in the triangle ABC, question is, one minute sir, I think this is angle 96 degrees, 96 degrees and it is, okay, I will write the question again, sixth one, this is, C, this is A and it is B, this is 96 degrees, this is from C it is D, AD equivalent to CD equivalent to BC, AD equivalent to CD equivalent to BC, angle ABC, another beautiful question, ABC. AD equivalent to CD equivalent to BC, angle ABC. Very, very beautiful question, sir. Exterior angle. What is the property? Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite interior angles. This is the concept. Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite interior angles. AD equivalent to CD. Angle A is equivalent to angle C. If this is a D, this is also D. If this is a D, 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 angle A equivalent to angle C. This exterior angle is nothing but 2 theta. This is nothing but 2 theta. C, D equivalent to B, C. Angle B equivalent to angle D. Angle B equivalent to angle D. So, this is also 2 theta. This is also 2 theta. Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite interior angles. So, 3 theta is nothing but 96 theta is nothing but 32 theta is nothing but 32 angle abc angle abc which is nothing but 2 theta 2 into 32 which is nothing but 64 degrees this is nothing but 64 degrees I hope it is clear. Beautiful question and SSC replica question. Exterior angle. The concepts will remain same. Right irrespective of whichever exam that you are writing it. AD equivalent to CD. ADD cancel. Angle A equivalent to angle C. Theta, theta. Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite interior angles. This is 2 theta. CD equivalent to BC. 
C C cancel angle B equivalent to angle D. 2 theta and it is also 2 theta. Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite interior angles. 96 equivalent to theta plus 2 theta. 3 theta is a 96, theta is a 32. But what is the question that he is asking? Angle A, B, C. Angle A, B, C is 2 theta. 2 into 32 is a 64. I hope it is clear. Right. Seventh question. This is A. This is E. This is D. This is C. This is B. This is F. And it is G. G. Question is AB equivalent to BC equivalent to CD equivalent to DE equivalent to EF equivalent to FG equivalent to GA. Find angle DA. Find angle DA. AB equivalent to BC equivalent to CD equivalent to DE equivalent to EF equivalent to FG equivalent to GA. Find angle DA. It's a very, very good question, sir. Very, very good question. Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite. Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite interior angles. Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite interior angles. Very, very beautiful question. Now see. AB equivalent to BC. Angle A equivalent to angle C. This is theta. This is theta. Exterior is nothing but 2 theta. Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite interior angles. Again, C, C, same. Angle B equivalent to angle D. Which triangle it is? It is in B, C, D triangle. It is in B, C, D triangle. B, C, D. So, B is nothing but 2 theta. B is nothing but 2 theta. Exterior angle is equivalent to sum of the opposite interior angle. D and C, same. Angle C equivalent to angle C. Which triangle it is? C D E. Which triangle it is? C D E. I hope it is clear, right, sir? So, if this is theta, this is 2 theta, this is an exterior angle, it is 3 theta. This is 3 theta, angle C equivalent to angle E. So, this is nothing but 3 theta. Till here it is clear, this is for A B C triangle, this is for B C D triangle. This is for C D E triangle. A B C B C D C D E. This two. Angle A is equivalent to angle F. F G E. Angle A is equivalent to angle F. Angle A is equivalent to angle F. So this is theta, this is theta. Theta, theta. This is nothing but two theta. This is nothing but two theta. EF equivalent to FG. Angle E equivalent to angle G. Which triangle it is? EFG. EFG. Angle A is equivalent to angle F. So 2 theta, 2 theta, angle. FF cancel, angle E equivalent to angle G. So this is 2 theta. If this is 2 theta and it is theta, this is nothing but 3 theta. Over. Angle D equivalent to angle F. Angle D equivalent to angle F. So, B is nothing but total 3 theta. Over answer. So, one is theta, another is 3 theta, another is also 3 theta. 7 theta equivalent to 180. Theta is nothing but 180 by 7. 180 by 7. 180 by 7. I will solve the problem once again in case if it is tough for you. Look at once again, sir. Once more. Question. This is A. This is E. This is D. This is C. 
this b once again i'm sorry b this is f and it is g and it is g a b equal to b c equal to c d equal to b equal to e f equal to f g equal to g a first one angle a equal to angle c this is a theta this is a theta again c this will be two theta first step right angle a is equal to angle c theta theta this will become two theta angle b equal to angle d angle b equal to angle d this is again two theta two theta theta this will become three theta this will become three theta this is over angle c is equal to angle e so this entire value is three theta i hope it is clear this is for abc triangle this is for bcd triangle this is for cde triangle abc bcd cd i hope it is clear till here till here till here i hope it is clear next next what is the question angle a is equal to angle f angle a is equal to angle f which triangle it is g a f g a f so angle a is equal to angle f this is also theta if this is a theta theta this will become two theta over next one angle e is equal to angle g e f g angle e is equal to angle g so this is nothing but two theta if it is two theta theta this will become three theta this is nothing but a three theta this is nothing but a three theta if this is three theta angle e is equal to angle g angle e is equal to angle which angle i hope it is clear right where are we so angle d is equal to angle f angle d is equal to angle f over answer these three theta three theta these also three theta and theta three theta plus three theta plus theta is 180 answer is 180 by 7 i hope the idea is clear any doubts kindly ask me any doubts kindly ask me is it clear i hope the idea is clear right what is the area of a triangle with the sides what is the area of a triangle with the sides 11 60 and 61 units what is the area of a triangle with the sides 11 60 and 61 units 11 60 and 61 right If action kid, please do not draw any conclusion unless and until I mention it. Right? Do not just because you are getting 180 by 7. Do not assume it. If it is 11, 11 square by 2, 121 by 2, which is nothing but 60.5. Subtract 0.5 and add 0.5. 11 60 61. 11 60 It is forming a right angled triangle. it is forming a right angled triangle so it is nothing but half into product of the sides containing right angle half into 11 into 60 answer is 330 answer is 330 i hope the idea is clear next one eighth question i hope it is clear ninth question ninth question ninth one a ladder of Ninth one. Ninth one. A ladder of length. A ladder of length. Sixty. This question you might have seen it in your papers. A ladder of. That is to check Arpita whether the sides are forming a right angled triangle or not. A ladder of length sixty five meter. Rest against a wall. Rest against a wall. 
if it's a top and if it's a top and slips 8 meters down the wall if it's a top and slips 8 meters down the wall then by how many meters then by how many meters will the bottom move away from the wall move away from the wall move away from the wall initially the bottom end is initially the bottom end is 25 meters away from the wall initially the bottom end is 25 meters away from the wall A ladder of length 65 meters rest against a wall. If its top end slips 8 meters down the wall, then by how many meters will the bottom move away from the wall? Initially, the ladder is 25 meters away from the wall. Step by step, we will solve it. A ladder of length 65 meters. This is the wall. This is 65 meters. A ladder of length 65 meter is reg resting against a wall. If its top end slips 8 meters down the wall, how many meters will the bottom move away from the wall? Initially, the bottom end is 25 meters away from the wall. Bottom is 25 meters. Bottom is 25 meters. This is the question. Ladder is ladder will always be in slant, which is 65, and the bottom is 25 meters. These are nothing but 5 13s are 65. These are 5 fives are 25. So 5 12 13 derived triplets. So it is 5 12s are 60. 5 12s are 60. 5 12s are 60 meters. 5 12s are 60. Now if it stop and slips 8 meters down the wall, if it slips 8 meters down the wall, now it is like this. If it slips 8 meters, this will become 52. 60 meters, 8 meters down is 52. Ladder length will not change. So this will remain as it is. So which is nothing but 65 meters. This is nothing but 52. 13 fives are 65. 13 fours are 52. 13 fives are 65, 13 fours are 52. This will become 13 threes are 39. 13 threes are 39. Already 25 is over. So how much it will move away? 14 meters. How much it will move away? 14 meters. Again, I am repeating it for the first time. Second time, sir. A ladder of length 65 meters. Ladder length is 65 meters. It is resting against a wall. If its top end slips 8 meters down the wall, by how many meters will the bottom will move away from the wall? Initially, the bottom end is 25 meters. This is 25 meters. This is 65. 5 13s are 65. 5 fives are 25. These are nothing but 5 twelves are 60. 5 twelves are 60. So it is 8 meters down the wall. 8 meters down the wall is 60. 8 meters down is 52. So if this is 52 and this is ladder. Ladder is 13 5s are 65. These 13 4s are 52. 13 5s are 65. 13 4s are 52. These 13 3s are 39. Total is 39. That is 25. Remaining is nothing but 14 meters. Remaining is nothing but 14 meters. Tenth one. In a right angled triangle. In a right angled triangle. With the sides. A, B and C. If. 2A plus 7C equal to 9B. 2A plus 7C equal to 9B. A less than B less than C. 
and if a is equal to 12 and if a is equal to 12 c is how much beautiful question sir in a right angled triangle with the sides a b c if 2a plus 7c is a 9b a less than b less than c and if a is equal to 12 c is equal to how much solution 2a plus 7c equal to 7b plus 2b so 2 into a minus b is nothing but 7 into b minus c a minus b by b minus c is 7 by 2 7 by 2 what it is given a less than b less than c and another hint which is given is it is a right angle triangle it is a right angle triangle so these two difference should be 7 these two difference is 2 let us see 3 4 5 no sir 5 12 13 5 12 13 difference is 7 difference is 1 if i do little bit of trial run by using the pythagorean triplets 8 15 17 8 15 17 8 15 17 a is 8 b is 15 c is 17 8 15 17 difference this between these two is 7 this two is just by doing few hit and trial you will get the answer as by doing hit and trial you will get the answer as 7 and 2 so if a is 2 if a is 2 c is 17 but according to the question i want 12 so proportionately c will become 12 by 8 into 17 which is nothing but 3 by 2 into 17 51 by 2 answer is 25.5 another beautiful question sir please see this question any doubts kindly ask me instead of using an equation method c square equal to a square plus b square c square i hope it is clear right sir i hope it is clear any doubts in this question please ask me till now any doubts are there kindly ask me any doubts kindly ask me any doubts is it clear in a right angled triangle with the sides a b c 2a plus 7c plus 9b is 2a plus 7c is 9b so 2 into a minus b is 7 into b minus c a minus b by b by b minus c is 7 by 2 don't write equation just to do a hit and trial with a pythagorean triplets you will get the answer you will get the answer 10th one i hope it is clear 11th one 11th one 11th question Find the area of the figure. 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 The figure is like this. A, B, C, D. The figure is like this. This is 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So answer will be. This is 24 and it is 32 so if it is 24 32 if i draw a hypotenuse 8 3 is 24 8 4 is 32 8 3 is 24 8 4 is 32 so this will become 8 5 is 40 8 5 is 40 so these is nothing but 25 these is nothing but 25 8 3s are 8 4s are these 8 5s are 40 drop a perpendicular if i drop a perpendicular we have already discussed this concept if i drop a perpendicular for an isosceles triangle on an unequal side unequal side let me call it as a if i drop a perpendicular it will divide the side into two equal parts a by 2 a by 2 so these is 20 and it is 20 20 and 20 so this will become 5 5 is 20 5 4 is 20 5 3 is 50 so this is nothing but half into 24 into 32 half into 24 this is 384 
these 300 and half into 20 into 15 is 150 150 150 these 150 these 150 I hope it is clear 25 25 it is given in the question so it is 8 threes are 24 8 fours are 32 8 threes are 24 8 fours are 32 AC hypotenuse will become 8 fives are 40 8 fives are 40 if it is 40 40 it is given that it is 25 arpita right AD is 25 DC is 25 find the area of the figure from this drop a perpendicular if i drop a perpendicular 40 will be divided into two equal parts 20 20 so this will be 5 5s are 25 5 3s are 15 this will become 5 4s are 20 these 20 20 half into 15 into 20 150 150 300 300 plus 384 answer is 684 Answer is 684. Very, very important concept. A perpendicular drop down to the unequal side will divide the side into two equal parts. Will divide the side into two equal parts. Another very, very good question. Next one. Twelfth question. Twelfth question. Twelfth one. The altitude. Altitude drawn to the the altitude drawn to the base of an isosceles triangle. Altitude drawn to the base of an isosceles triangle is eight and the perimeter is thirty two and the perimeter is thirty two. Find the area of the triangle. Find the area of the triangle. Altitude drawn to the base of a triangle. It is 8 and the perimeter is 32. It is an isosceles triangle. D is A, D is B, D is C. Altitude is nothing but 8. What are the right angle triplets which 8 as a side? Either it is 6, 8, 10 or it is 8, 15, 17. One among them is right. Let us see. If it is 8, this is 6, this is 6. This is 10 and it is 10. 10 and 10. Area of a triangle. Area of a triangle. What is the perimeter? Perimeter is 6 plus 6 plus 10 plus 10. 12 plus 20 is 32. What is the area of the triangle? Half into 6 into 8. This is 24. This is 24 and it is 24. Total area of the triangle is 48. 13th one. If the largest possible, if the largest possible right angle triangle, if the largest possible right angled triangle is cut from a circle of radius is a cut from a circle of radius 10 centimeters find the area if the largest possible right angle triangle is cut is cut from a circle of radius 10 centimeters find the area there is a circle largest possible right angle triangle Largest possible right angle triangle will be like this. Angle in a semicircle is 90. So, largest possible right angle triangle. Largest possible right angle triangle is formed only when hypotenuse, hypotenuse of a right angled triangle, hypotenuse of a right angled triangle becomes the diameter of a circle becomes the diameter of a circle. Largest possible right angle triangle is formed. Largest possible right angle triangle is formed when the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle forms the diameter of a circle. So this is A, this is A. So this will become root 2A. This will become root 2A. 
root 2a is nothing but 2r this is nothing but root 2a is nothing but 20 a is nothing but 10 root 2. a is nothing but 10 root 2. what is the area of a right angle triangle half into a into a a square so half into 100 into 2 answer is 100 answer is 100 i hope it is clear right largest possible right angle triangle is formed largest largest possible right angle triangle is formed when the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle when the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle when the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle becomes the diameter of a circle i hope this equation is clear this equation will give you root 2a is equal to 2r so 2 into 10 root 2a is 10 so a is nothing but 10 root 2 a is nothing but 10 root 2 so half into a into a half into a square half into 100 into 2 answer is nothing but 100 answer is nothing but 100 i hope the idea is clear 13th question idea is clear right sir 14th question 14th one 14th one in the figure given below the figure is like this this is x this is y this is z question find x plus y plus z find x plus y plus z very very easy this entire angle is 360 360 into 3 minus if this is a this is b this is c angle a plus angle b plus angle c so this is nothing but 1080 minus 180 which is nothing but 900 degrees which is nothing but 900 degrees he is asking the outside angle he is asking the outside angle he is asking the outside angle I hope it is clear. 360 into 3 minus 180 900. 14th one. I hope the idea is clear. 